What kind of sickness is this? She coughs non-stop as if her heart will cut in shreds. The diagnosis shows she has bronchitis, tuberculosis and high blood pressure. Only one person is suffering from all of these sicknesses and there is no money to seek for medical attention and treatment. The hospital she was admitted in had to send her away due to lack of payment for the hospital bill. We resorted to buying drugs from a chemist shop. Daniel, the chemist guy, has tried the best he could for us at least. He has been the one giving us drugs on credit and he warned me not to come to his chemist shop again without money. He complained we owe him huge amount of money already and that he is not going to sell on credit again. God, God, what am I going to do? I need my drugs. My drugs. My drugs are finished. Yes. And Daniel warned me not to come back to his shop if I don't have the money for the one we took before. I just ex. My chest aches. Okay, just wait. Okay, just wait. I'll find a way. Just wait. I'm coming. Oh, my chest aches. Get you water. Eh? My daughter. Mommy. I am dying. Yes. I'm dying. God forbid. You don't talk like that. 
you will not die. You will live to see my children's children, mommy. God will not allow you to die. Nothing will happen to you. Eh? It's just sickness. You'll be fine. Please don't lose hope. You know you are all I have, mommy. Be good. Tell them, my daughter. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. What is it? Go ahead and tell me. But please, I rebuke it. God forbid, you will not die. Hold it. I wish, I honestly wish, I can take back the hand of time. I am the architect of my own problems. As a growing girl, I grew into adolescent age as a beautiful young girl. picture of who I ever wanted to marry. Mm -hmm. <sighs> <coughs> Sorry, mommy. <coughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. okay. Before you know it, suitors started filing in. They started filing it, but I refused each of them because none of them met the standard I set for myself. Mm. My age mates started getting married and having children <laughs> and I was there still waiting for my Mr. Handsome <laughs> sorry At work, started making mockery of me. I took the painful. I took the decision of living Lagos State. I decided to live for a state where nobody knew anything about me. I left for Abiokuta. Yes, I left for Abiokuta. From Abiokuta, I decided to go down east. I got to Asaba. <laughs> the 
first day. <coughs> the first day, I got to Asaba. The first man I met was Mr. Albert. He showed me all his cars, his properties, his houses. He asked me to marry him, <laughs> but I stupidly refused. I refused because he's rich. It was short and ugly. So, so I refused to marry you. <coughs> so, so, so now I understand why he doesn't take pity on you at all. Or he doesn't pity you at all. Yes. <laughs> I refused to marry him. Even at 43 then. Okay, mommy. Mm. Are you a single mother? <laughs> eh? Please don't cry. You know crying is not good for your condition. Don't, please. You're going to make matter worse. Are you a single mother? Eh? Yes. No. Okay. But... So how did I come into the picture? Who <coughs> is my father? Sorry. Who is my father? <coughs> Sorry, mommy. I remember I asked you before. You know I'm a good cook. Mommy, mm -hmm. I'm trying to ask you. Where is my father? I've never seen his picture. I've never seen him since I was born till date. I don't even know what he looks like. Where is him? Does he love me? Did I take after him because with my skin color, I know I did not take after him. Actually, I might need to tell her again. Just ask me this time to transplant. No, tell me now. My next time I ask you this, you try to wave the question. Where is my father? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did he abandon us? Are you divorced? Mm -hmm. Are you a single mother? No, I'm not. He did not abandon us, and I am not a divorcee. Where is <sighs> Your father died in a ghastly motor accident when I was seven months pregnant with him. His death he left me shattered and heartbroken. That's why Hi. I don't like discussing it for any reason. So my father is dead. May his soul rest in peace. It's okay. Chill, mommy. I'm here for you. I'm here to make you happy and always take care of you. I wish I had met my father. I'm sure I look like him. Because you're darker than me. My father must be very handsome. Was he tall? Sexy eyes. How does it feel to live the way you do? I look like him. What does it mean? You are, you kill. 
the joy around you <coughs> Vanity Such a vanity I lied I lied Mommy You mean you lied about my true paternity? I lied about everything. I was never married. <coughs> I was never pregnant. As a matter of fact, I'm not your mother. was catching up with me. <laughs> you know they're not to lose at both ends. <laughs> I decided to adopt a baby girl <laughs> that I can take care of and who will let her take care of me. just yesterday <laughs> when I walked into St. Monica's motherless baby's home in Abiyokuta <sighs> as the matron took me round we came to the room and there were many children Newborn babies. They were toddlers and even aged ones. Lo and behold, <sighs> there you were playing with a toy alone. <laughs> and I asked the metro about you. How old you were? She said you were four years old. She <coughs> 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 said you were four years. And I walked towards you. As I walked towards you, you came to me with your hands open. I carried your small body up. <laughs> I placed you on my chest. Ow. <coughs> Ow. You were the best thing that happened to me there. no longer minded the whole savings. <laughs> I 
money I saved from my bank job. I carried you to the office to have two full details about you. Matron there said when she saw you that your case was complicated. <coughs> yes, that yours was a very complicated case. I don't understand <sighs> what you mean by my case was complicated. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> they had next to no information about you. They home there, dropped you, and left. They have next to nothing as regards to your real mother. That was how. When I decided to relocate to Asaba, I came down with you as my only child. So, from your story, I'm an orphan from Abiyokuta. Maybe, 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 no identity. You were all I had. I just think that you are everything. Give me this revelation. Why? I asked. I did ask. I never wanted. I never wanted to make you sad. You were all like. And then even now. I'm sorry. It's okay. Sorry, my daughter. Please, it's okay. Me. It's okay. <laughs> Just be strong for me. Just be strong. Oh God, mommy, stop. <sighs> from me was because you were scared I was going to leave. <coughs> the landlord threatened to eject me if I cannot retain the house, who do I run to? No family member, no family friend. How am I going to cope in this town? How? 
<sighs> Mommy died due to lack of money to pay her hospital bill. Mommy. What a woman. She took me in and treated me like she would treat her own daughter. I did enjoy the love of a mother. Now she's no more. What do I do? Death, why? Why did you snatch mommy from me? The only mother I know. A woman that took me from when I was a child. And made me a child. Why? Why? That's why. Mommy died in my hands. Mommy, mommy died in my hands. I was helpless. I couldn't save mommy. I couldn't do anything to remedy the situation. Ah, hey, mommy. Hi. The boy. The woman that means the world to me. The woman that means everything to me is no more. Where do I start from? Where do I go to? This is a woman that gave me life. This is a woman that took care of me from when I was a child. This is a woman that means the whole world to me. How do I forge ahead with life? I don't have money for rent. I don't have anybody. Hey! That's why me. Why me? Why me? <laughs> Hi! Mommy. May your soul rest in peace. What am I going to do now? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Where am I going to go to? I don't have money to pay for the rent. How do I cope? How do I survive? <laughs> Mommy. May your soul rest in peace. Till we meet to part no more. You'll forever be my mother. I miss you. I love you. How does it my life cannot be the same without you again. You Hi! Why me? God, why me? Why me? What does it pay to be God. the way God. you are? Why you me? kill the joy around you. Oh. Vanity. Such a vanity. Infidelity. Who is there, Matilda? Will you come out here? Such a vanity. Oh, no. Please go in there. Pack your things out of this place. I want to give out this place to another person who can pay me the rent since you cannot pay. Baba, I understand, but please, Ejo, Emma Benu, Emma Benu, help me, Baba. If I live here, where will I go to? Where will I go to, Baba? Mm. You don't have any place to go. You can go to any of your family members. Better still. To the village. I don't know my village. Mm, you don't have my village. I don't know my village. I don't even have family members. My mother never took me to their village before she died. It's just me in this whole world. Just help me. Please. There is nothing I can do. This is my only source of livelihood. Okay, but my house are tight. I can't leave you here. I have to give out to people that can pay me the rent. This is my only source of livelihood. Okay, Baba, I understand. I don't, I don't want to sound selfish. Let me help you. Let me be working for you as your house help. So when you pay me at the end of the month, how is it to pay for this? I just want shelter over my head. I want roof over my head. Biko, help me. Matida. Matida, I don't need any house help. 
What do I need has help for? Well, all my children are grown and can take care of themselves. You know too well that I was never in good terms with your mother, even when she was alive. She refused to pay me my seven months' rent before her death. There is no point for you not to pack out from here. Please help me. I'm begging you. If I pack out now, I don't have anywhere to go. Just help me, sir. Help me. God will bless you. Let me just stay. I will, I will find a way. Matilda, I am giving you three days to come and pay the seven months rent and then carry your things out of this place. After three days, I come back and you did not come and pay. I will seize all the properties here to recover my money and then force you out of this place. I've said it and I don't want to repeat myself. What does it pay to be the way you are? You kill the joy around you. Vanity. Such a vanity. Infidelity. Such a vanity. Oh, oh. Please, I want to talk to you. You want to talk to me? Yes, ma. Um, who are you and where are you from? Ma, I'm nobody. I don't have anybody. I'm an orphan. You're an orphan? Yes, ma. You I, don't have any relative at all? I don't know of any. Before my foster mother died, she told me she's not my real mother because I didn't know. So now I'm stranded. I was staying in one uncompleted building. But Androbas came there and stole everything I made from my gala business. Now I'm stranded. I don't have anywhere to go to. What's your name? My name is Matilda. Ma. Oh, Matilda, so how can I be of help to you? I can be your house help. I can work, I can cook, I can do anything. I can be your house help. I can, I can wash your clothes, I can take care of your kids anywhere. I just need shelter Matilda, over my head. Okay. Go do na passage, even if it's inside your passage or even in the kitchen. Biko, I don't know what will become of me if I go back to that uncompleted building. Please, ma. I'm genuine. I'm not lying. Just help me. Biko, I know you don't owe me any help, but I pray that God will touch your heart to, to just help me. 
I don't have anyone. Please, Matilda. Ma. Pico, please. Okay, enter this car. Are you serious? Hey, yes. my God, will bless it's okay. You for God, it's okay. Hey. God will bless you for anything you ask God. God will give you before you even ask. God will give you. How does it so feel much. You like to live this life. God will bless you for me. Thank you. you had the world around you. What does it pay to be the way you are? You kill the joy around you. Such a vanity Infidelity It's such a vanity Matilda, you are welcome to my home. Thank you. And uh, make yourself comfortable, okay? Sit down. Drop your bag on the floor. Thank you, ma. Thank you. No, no, no. Drop it on the floor. Ma, I don't want to stain the towels. It will not stain the towels. Even if it does, it will be cleaned, okay? Just drop it. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. I'm coming. Excuse me. Thank God I asked to. Thank God I approached this woman. Hey, thank you, God. She's a nice person. Matilda, use this and cool off. Um, by tomorrow, I will be taking you to a friend that needs a house help. Thank you so much, ma. Thank you. Meanwhile, uh, let me go up and come back. I will take you to your room. Such a nice cook. Thank you, ma. I'm glad you like it. Mm, I like it. <laughs> Come here. Are you not going to dish out your own food? No, ma. I will eat inside the kitchen. No, no, no. You don't do that in my house. Here in my house, everyone is important. So go to the kitchen and get your plate. You come and join me here. Go. Thank you. Uh, and later you give the gate man his own food at the gate. Right. That is after we must have eaten our own. Right. Go and get your food. Dish out your food. Take as much as you want. Hmm? Take more, take more. Okay. Take enough meat. Now this one is okay. Oh! <laughs> 
You're such a nice cook. Thank you, ma. Don't ask my friend will like you. Thank you, ma. Um, who taught you how to cook? Mommy. Mm. It's alright. Eat your food. Eat, okay? <laughs> so, ma, what of your family? Your husband, your children, my children are fine. I have three children. Two boys and one girl. My two boys are studying abroad while my daughter stays here with me. She's studying at the State University. She went to school, she will soon be back. Okay. And your husband? My husband is an engineer. I'm not asking too much no, about no. you. What do you do for you? <laughs> I'm a CEO of an agency that caters for women who are maltreated by their husbands and their husband's relatives. Yes. And I'm also a businesswoman. I buy and sell gold. And I'm a big woman and you're really blessed. Thank you. I'm happy for you. Good job. Let me put I'm glad you like this. Yes, I like it. Yes, I like it. To pick your call now. Mo, Mo. Yeah, yeah, hello. How are you? How have you been? I'm fine, and you? We are there. We are there. So, your husband, is he back? No, he will be back on Sunday. Hmm, you're really enjoying yourself. Enjoyment, call enjoyment. Enjoyment without my husband around me. Hmm. <laughs> you guys are doing all your love with phones. <laughs> Can you hear yourself? Phone love is not enough for me. Oh. I need my husband around me because I miss him so much. <laughs> uh -huh. Love me, love core, love in Tokyo. You know, I don't believe in that four-letter word. Mine is rockage. Money talks and bullshit work. Mm -hmm. I know you. You are material things. <laughs> hmm. Maureen? To be honest, money answers all things. When you have money, you scar the whole world. Tell me what money can buy. The most luxurious life, comfortable home, peace of mind. Just mention it. The highest ride. You can get it with money. So to me, money is everything. Ah, Dorothy, you won't change. Uh -uh. Yes. Uh, guess what? Hmm. <laughs> Just guess, guess a little. More please. You know I'm not good at it. Just go straight to the point. What is it? <laughs> okay, I've gotten a new house help for you. Oh my word, you did? Yes. For real? If you see this girl, you will like her. Oh, this is so sweet of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So tell me, how much do you know this maid? She's very quiet, hardworking. She's well trained, very intelligent. 
All right. Yes, she's well trained. If you say so. All right. I will be waiting at least. Mm. I need someone around. I can't have my children doing the house chores. In fact, you would like her when you see her. So when are you coming? I will bring her to your house tomorrow. All right then. Okay, I know you are happy. I know you are happy. So the search has ended. See you then. Okay, okay dear. Bye bye. Hey, bye. <laughs> ah, more, more. How does it feel to live the way you do? A house help. Well, I am so happy. House help. I can't wait for that. What does it pay to be the way you are? You kill the joy. Hungry. Is there food in the house? Yes, there's food in the kitchen. Wow. Okay, mommy. I'll see you later. I'm so hungry. No, Matilda did. Matilda? Who is Matilda? Oh, I forgot to tell you. She's the new house help I got for Dorothy. The new house help? And where is she, Mom? She's in the guest room. Hmm. Mom, I need to see the super cook. It's okay. Just be nice to her, okay? I'll be right back. from and who are your parents? Ma, I'm an orphan. An orphan? Dorothy, calm down. All right. Um, Madam Orphan, where do you stay here in the city? Okay. The... My mother I was staying with told me she's not my biological mother. She said she that she got me from the orphanage before she died. So right now, I don't have anyone. Really? In that case, you're a bastard. Dorothy. But that is it. Stop. Why are you taunting this girl? Huh? Maureen, I'm so sorry about this, but I'm just trying to get to know her very well. She's going to live with me, isn't it? Yes. I need to know her identity because from what she just said, probably her mother is a prostitute. Those that, you know, discharge their children either in the waters or anywhere. Dorothy. So I should be careful because... Dorothy! You are doing the right thing in a wrong manner. Yes! Your attitude towards her just now isn't fine with me at all. Please. Maureen, I'm so sorry, but you know me. I'm too materialistic. I have a lot of gold and uh, silver diamonds. 
I wouldn't like in a situation where I will come home one day as I'm looking for anything. I need to know her, I need to know where she's from, even the motherless baby home she came from or whatever. Who was the mommy that died after confection? Stop! I'm allergic to poverty. I said stop. It is obvious you do not need a house help. I need a house help. I do need a house help, but not the one I don't know where she's coming from or where she was staying before coming to my house. If you do, you should be able to trust whoever you're staying with. Trust her first. Really? Yes. Ah. Dorothy, it is obvious you do not need a house help. Matilda, stop it. Calm down. It hasn't gotten to that. Do I blame you? I don't blame you. My friend, will you get us off that place? Wake up by force. Are you alright? Why are you still on bed? What is good about this morning? I said you should get from that place. What is good about this morning? Are you not supposed to be at the kitchen making breakfast? Will you go to the kitchen and start making breakfast? After which you tidy the house, tidy the whole compound, take the refuge, go to the refuge. Come back here! I am not done talking! Are you alright? If someone is talking to you, you should stand and listen at the TV. Now go to the kitchen. Make breakfast. Hmm? After which you tidy the house. Make sure everywhere is tidy. Go to the compound, clean every nook and cranny, then pack the refuge, go down the street, dispose them, come back, and make sure you iron everybody's clothes. 